All right, so we are on our last bit of the notes. And then we have our test tomorrow, so that's exciting. But anyway, um, thunderstorm formation and life cycle. This is our last bit. Um, since we're talking about clouds, it only makes sense that we talk about when clouds get pretty nasty. Um, they are a huge part of the weather that everyone notices. So let's talk about it. All right. Thunder storm formation and life cycle. So a thunderstorm forms when warm air rises rapidly in the atmosphere and produces instability. This is a cumulus. It forms from a cumulus, cumulonimbus cloud. All right. So um, warm air rises rapidly in the atmosphere and produces instability. I want you to highlight that. All right. And let's change the grammar in this a little bit. This is a cumulonimbus cloud. So remember, cumulo means fluffy, nimbus means it's raining, okay? A rain cloud. So um, there's some pretty crazy pictures I can look up right now. I'll look it up for you. So single cell thunderstorm, they look crazy. Let's look at images. So those are where it looks like it's just raining down in one little area. It, you can see that warm air has risen very quickly. Um, it hits the top of the troposphere and then it starts spreading out. And there will, if it's raining, like this picture is showing you little bits of rain there. It looks like uh, the bottom of the cloud got a little smudgy. That usually means it's raining there. Um, and that is that cumulonimbus. Cumulo, it's super fluffy. Nimbus, it's raining there. All right, so we get back to this. A single cell thunderstorm often follows a typical pattern over the course of a single day. So you guys are going to watch a video on Edpuzzle and fill out the table below with a drawing and caption describing what is happening at each stage of the single cell thunderstorm formation, okay? Either way, you're gonna have to do that. I suggest you pause this video and you go and you watch the Ed Puzzle with these notes to fill it in. Um, yeah, that's all I'm saying. And you should be able to fill out the rest of that. just to go over it. So hopefully you actually paused me and <laughs> and then went and watched it, filled it in. But um, just to quickly go over it, it all starts out um, in the cumulus stage. So the, just a little puffy cloud. All right, this is showing you right here where the freezing point in the cloud would be. So it starts um, zero degrees Celsius is freezing in uh, when we're talking about water. So warm air rises. So here we go. As the sun heats the ground the atmos and atmosphere, warmer, warmer parcels of air, so warmer chunks of air, rise, expand and cool, and condense into cumulus clouds. So warm air rises. It gets puffy up top. Um, I, at one point, um, when Mr. Middleton and I got married, we were drive or flying back in this teeny tiny plane from Costa Rica, and um, there were storm clouds all around us, these cumulus clouds. And if you fly through it, it shoves you up really quickly, which is crazy. Um, and it was really scary, actually. And I thought we were going to die. But we didn't. But I'm just saying, it's a strong updraft that's happening there. All right. After a little bit, it'll keep rising, keep rising until it hits the top of the troposphere and then it'll start spreading out. The mature stage um, condensing water vapor releases latent heat. So as it condenses, it gives off heat. You guys have learned that already. Um, this causes strong updrafts to make the cloud grow tall. Uh, cold rain falling through the cloud produces a drown downdraft. So um, heat rises, it's going to spread out. Once it starts raining, there's going to be cold air 
that comes down kind of in front of the um, the storm. So if you've ever felt a gush of cold, cooler wind um, before it starts um, thunderstorming or before a storm, storm actually reaches you, what's happening is this cold air is coming out of the cloud, hitting the ground and being shoved ahead. So you could be standing right here. It's not raining yet. And you know, oh crap, a storm's going to be coming soon and it's on its way. It's already started somewhere else. Okay. Um, after some time, it'll run out of rain. The downdraft will, uh, or the not run out of rain. The downdraft will overtake the heat that's rising. Um, and the cloud ca can't grow anymore. So the cold downdrafts overtake the updrafts and that kind of kills the storm. That's when you know it's over. So anyway, those are your notes. Those should be filled out. And yeah, uh, let me just quick highlight some things. Uh, warm parcel of air rise, spin, condense into cumulus clouds. Let's highlight that. So warmer parcels of air rise, expand, cool, and condense into cumulus clouds. All right. Um, Condensing water vapor, I'm gonna highlight that. Causes strong updrafts. And then cold rain falling produces downdrafts. Then here you have the cold downdraft overtakes updrafts. And again, that's gonna kill the storm. Have a great rest of your day.